<clears throat> I start the story, as every good child does, before telling a story that may paint their parents in a less than positive light, by saying I love my parents dearly, both of them. And now the next question you may be asking is why did I show you a close-up of a bolt used to hold down a picnic table bench? And let me tell you, <laughs> it's, it's a tale. So, once upon a time, I stepped on one of those suckers and put a hole in my foot about three quarters of an inch. <laughs> so, to give you, uh, give you the tale of how, how, how did this come about and why does this paint my parents in a less than positive light, I was, say, 11, 12. I, if I remember right, it was like the summer before or after fifth grade. I'm American, so that fifth grade, yeah. And uh, I was on a camping trip, and I was with my brother, a brother's friend of mine, and we were out in this amphitheater at this campground where there was pine cones littered everywhere. And I got this just bad gut feeling. Like, I felt like something really bad was going to happen later that day. Or even, like, just where we were at. It just, I felt like I should just not be where I was. And so we continued being there. These two kids around our age ended up showing up. And we ended up, like, play fighting. It wasn't bad. Um, we were just kind of throwing pine cones around at one another. It kind of hurt if you got hit by one, but it, it certainly wasn't a malicious interaction. Um, we definitely had fun. We were running around just, you know, boys being boys throwing pine cones and hurting each other and enjoying it. <laughs> and, hmm. You know, having a good time. And so later on, there was a meteor shower around 11, 12 o'clock at night. So to paint the scene, we're all laying on our backs and whatnot. Um, on blankets and trying to watch these meteor showers. I've taken off my shoes and one of these kids that had been throwing the pine cones with us were with us watching the meteor shower and he threw one of my shoes at my brother's friend. Now earlier in the day there was a picnic table in a specific spot and my dad decided he wanted to move it. Underneath this picnic table was a bolt. Said bolt was exposed once my dad decided to move the picnic table. <clears throat> so the punk threw my brother's, sh or my shoe at my brother's friend. It's pitch black, it comes from my direction. He assumes it's me in a panic I get up and I'm on a dead sprint running away from this kid holding my brother's friend holding my my shoe chasing after me gonna throw it at me and now I didn't necessarily need to be running away but like you know I'm panicked I didn't want to get clobbered by a fucking shoe and lo and behold I'm running and almost in the dead center of my foot I st stepped on that bolt on a dead sprint and down I go I'm laying there, and I feel my foot, and I bring my hand back, and my hand is just coated in blood, and so I start screaming like bloody murder, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. My mother took forever to come over, and she said, even like, this is happening, like, even as she gets there, she's like, oh my god, you really are bleeding and says something along the lines of thinking I must have just scraped my knee or something. And I'm like, no, I damn near broke my ankle and put a bolt this far into my foot and I have blood gushing everywhere. Like it was, you know, this big around and I stepped on it on a dead sprint running away from somebody. Like I'm fucking hurt and I was screaming to match that level of hurt and my mother, who should be the first person 
to empathize with me and should be the first person to go, oh, hey, is my baby okay? Was laughing, having drinks, going, huh, he probably scraped his knee. So, yeah. I love my mom. I love my dad. They are doing the best they can with what they have. But, you know, looking back at that memory, that was, that was rough. That was rough. Not only did I get physically hurt pretty bad, but I got mocked in the uh, aftermath of it. So, yeah. If anybody's experienced anything like that, comment down below. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will talk to y'all later.